In today's video, we will go from nothing to insane loot in just 8 hours. We will build a bridge based PvP against many geared players and doing a base raid. This was my first ever snowball in Rust since I'm quite new to the game, only having 70 hours. If you guys enjoyed this video and want to see more, make sure to drop a like, let's aim for 100 likes. If we reach that like goal, I'll do more Rust videos in the future. Also, subscribe to not miss any future videos, each one helps the channel grow more than you think. Last video, I announced a skin giveaway and this is the winner. To claim your prize, please join my Discord, which is in the description below, and contact me over there. Then we're going to another one, which is a retro wave. AK. If you want to win this skin, make sure that you've liked, subscribed, and comment something below. And if you are a channel member, you have a higher chance of winning. Today's video is sponsored by Supremacy1914. Supremacy1914 is a free online PvP strategy game that has captured the hearts of millions of players worldwide. You get to choose a real country to lead during World War I and get to fight up up to 500 players in real time, in games that can take weeks to complete. You can use many different units to build your army that includes cavalry, planes, tanks and much more. You can declare war to your neighbors or forge alliances with other players. Choose your own strategy, engage in epic battles and take over the world by yourself. An aspect that I am truly a fan of is long term synergy since nowadays you don't really see a lot of games like this at all and I think it's a really good idea. On Supremacy you can play it both on PC and on mobile and for you the viewer you will get an exclusive gift. So make sure to check the link in the description below to get 15,000 gold and one month of premium subscription completely for free. The offer is only available for 30 days so make sure to check it out now, the links will be in the description below. Alright boys we are in Rust, now I'm going to be in a group today. I won't be playing solo, and we're on actually a very high pop server, an official server, I've never played an official server, the only two times that I have made videos they were on community servers, so it's going to be a brand new experience for me as well. I'm gonna try to get ourselves a decent base location, now yesterday we did play here for around 10 minutes just for us to try to play a little bit, but my power cut out so we literally had to just quit for the day. But today we are back. We're gonna try to do everything today. We're gonna try to get ourselves a decently sized base, do some raiding, get ourselves full kits of the highest tiers of weapons. If we get AK, that would be actually incredible. And obviously since we just started, we gotta get ourselves the basics down. Currently I'm gonna be solo, my teammates will join a little bit. In the meantime, I'm gonna try to get myself a base down quite close to Harbor. And there's also some other pretty cool landmarks as well. But today I actually do want to do some new stuff. I only have 70 hours in this game, so I did not do a lot of the stuff. First of all, I have not done anything regarding to high tier monuments, such as oil rig and those kind of areas. So if we do something like that today, that would be epic. Myself a guitar, insane. Come on, give me something good. Well, we got ourselves a, a sword. All right, well, I'll actually take that. All right, let's just get to the other side. Loot the next tower. And then we'll start farming some wood. Probably just build a base before I actually start going looting monuments. You know, the sword is much better. Now, if you guys want to see more videos in Rust, when it comes to me being in a group, just let me know. Perhaps even in the future I could do a Zerg video with my viewers, I think that would be interesting, or even a live stream. We're getting ourselves a lot of stuff. Thankfully in Harbor there is a Recycler, so we can just go whenever we want. Yeah, some more junk, some more scrap, that's nice to see. Anything good? Oh, a pickaxe, I'll actually take that, that's actually really good. So I've been farming a little bit, it's actually dark, so I can barely see where I even placed my base, but this will have to do for now. I my, got myself 2x1 for now, myself a lot of stone, so I just have to mix with stone and wood. Obviously, if it's full stone, then that's better. I got myself a wooden door as well. Let's put some wood and some stone in here, because bases are starting to get decay as well. Gotta make myself a lock. Oh yeah, I just need wood. I'll just take a little bit, make a lock, put the wood back. Probably for the remaining of the night, I'll just wait in here until it's day. Maybe I could chop down some trees in the, in the surroundings. Myself a campfire, so lock this base. And there we go, we got ourselves a fully locked base. Lovely. I really hope I actually built it in a decent area, man. I hope I didn't build next to any large bases or something like that. As that would probably not give us a good time, man. Alright, so there's a guard station next to our base. And I actually did come and bring all of the comps that I had. Just so that we have a little bit of metal. Got ourselves a green key card. Oh, lovely. Okay, that's actually huge. We're getting some, some frags over here. As soon as it's done, we'll just run back straight to base. It's super close. So that could be actually kind of dangerous. Since people may actually show up a lot here. Let's get all of these items. Some more scrap, lovely. Alright, everything is done. 
Let's put all of these items in there as well. So the tarp, so you can get some oil from this, I'm pretty sure. I did see a lot of bases around, to be honest, around the gas station for sure. So we still gotta be a little bit careful for that. As soon as this one is done, then let's just run back straight to base. Got ourselves the first key card. Pretty good axe as well. Alright, and let's get out of here. Alright, so we're back in base. My, myself a sleeping bag. We'll just put that there for now. Let's go home. I hear pistol shots. I think that's pistol shots. Pretty sure that's a harbor. I don't know if I should try to actually go for that, man. I mean, I, I will probably just die, but I don't even have any weapons yet. It would be kind of funny if I d get to kill him with like a sword or something. I could just grub, wait for them to die, and then just try to raid, just try to go for their loads. It's probably what I'm gonna be doing today, so I'm gonna make myself some crates. My teammate got on, we're currently at duo. Alright, so I did expand base a little bit, made it from a 2x1 to a 2x2. Two two. Just gotta make a door, gotta upgrade some more walls, there we go. Gotta make another door, but that should not be a big deal. Let's cook this food. Let's put all of this in there. Currently we're farming, we're just focusing on base and then we'll start doing monument runs and roaming the map later on. We just wanna get ourselves a, a decent base at the start, man. And we also got ourselves our first furnace as well. Lovely. Starting to slowly progress, man. Slowly but surely. Alright, so I just farmed myself a lot of wood. The salvaged axe is actually a blessing, man. It gives us so much wood, it's insane. Literally, so quickly. Alright, so now let's just cook some metal and split this as well. So that we can get ourselves some more frags. And then we'll do a door. Code lock. And probably just continue farming a little bit and then probably go to harbor. We're all very close to abandoned military base too. So that would actually be really good. Alright, so we're over at Harbor, got ourselves some, some comps. It's kinda crazy out there, there's actually nobody. I'm not risking it, if I get some loot, I'm just gonna get out of here. I'm not gonna salvage pipes, I'm actually gonna keep them, so that if we get revolvers soon, then that's actually, it'll be pretty, pretty good. I'm trying to make myself a bow soon as well. Alright, yeah, let's run back to base. Wait, I hear somebody actually breaking barrels. And somebody walking, or there's somebody, bro. And he's breaking barrels right now. Oh, he's right here. Oh, he's down. Oh, he actually has some stuff. Bro, he has a crossbow. All right, there we go. Racks to riches. We could literally harvest him, actually. Nah, let's get out of here. Let's run back to base. Bro, there we go. The crossbow is actually huge. There's a horse here. Perfect. All right, so I roamed around by the roads. Already got quite a ton of loot as well. So I'm just going to run straight back to base depot. Oh, there are shots happening quite close, actually. Man, that sounds... Yeah, my teammate just died. I think they just killed them. Oh, that's terrible. Also, we built close to, like, a clan base, by the way. So, I kind of picked a bad location when it was dark. So, I, I kind of screwed up on that, but... Oh, well. Yeah, those are, are shots, I think, right over the hill. Oh, I'm getting shot at. Okay, well, this is actually terrible. I only have a cross... Go, get in, man. I only have a crossbow, bro. What the hell can I do? I really hope we just don't get door camped, to be honest. Alright, so what I'm gonna do is, uh, I think there's a lot of PvP happening very close. I think they're just getting door camped or something like that. So, I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna wait for their shooting to be off. And when it's done, we'll try to go there and try to grub and see if there's any, any loot. We'll literally take anything. And we got ourselves a workbench as well, level 1. So, that's quite nice to see. I don't know how I'm getting achievements now when I was literally playing on servers earlier and did the exact same thing. Let's start learning. There we go, lovely. My teammate did actually go to where the PvP was and apparently got some loot. I have no idea what he got though. I don't think he got anything that crazy, but that's still kind of funny, man. He gave me these clothes. I mean, we could just salvage some stuff with that, basically. There's loot over here, man. There's a... What? Bro, I got a jackhammer! Bro, these, this is where the PvP was and they left a jackhammer. There's no way, man. That jackhammer is actually huge! I'm actually gonna go depot that right now. There's no way. Alright, so now we're a trio. We should probably research that syringe, actually. I'm not gonna lie. 
All right, let's check out. Let's, let's go do some runs. Now, our new teammate is actually quite good at the game. He has like 2,000 hours. Me, I have 70 hours. And the other duo that I was with earlier has something similar to me as well. So we're quite new to the game. So at the same time, we're going to be learning Rust while actually playing. So we'll see. We'll, we'll see how it goes, man. Oh, wait, what? Bro, there's turrets literally outside, man. Bro, there's... Oh, there's another one there. Bro, there's so many turrets. Oh, my God. There's turrets, like, everywhere. There's no way, bro. Oh, my God. Bro, there's a dude chasing my teammate. There we go. He's dead. And he's naked. He had some mushrooms. So, Reggie actually managed to kill, like, two dudes if I remember. Yeah. I think he looted them already, though. They had bows or something. It's always nice to see. Check out to see if there's any more bodies around. Oh, yeah. He's giving me... Oh, there we go. Crossbow. There we go. We got another one. Let's reload. Okay, so airdrop actually landed very close. We're gonna go for it. We're gonna hope that it's gonna get good loot. And um, if people do show up, we'll get to kill them. Now, Mergi's way far ahead right now. Airdrop literally ran landed right over there. Yep, he got it. And now we run back to base. It actually landed super close to base. Oh, he had a Saur and he has a Tommy too. Okay, well, that's actually really good. We got ourselves our first two guns. Huge. Imagine he got like C4 and that kind of stuff already. That'd be huge. We also heard shots over at MLRS area. Military base. So we're actually gonna try to go for it. First, we're gonna depot because I think my teammate got more stuff than just the two guns. And we're gonna try to counter whatever the hell was happening over there. Probably gonna risk the guns, but if we do manage to get it, then we'll probably get ourselves some, like, tier 3 weapons, too. Uh, that would be, that would be huge. Right, so all the scientists are dead, and they're all looted, too. I think they're gone, actually. I think they just came, shot the rockets, and dipped. Just kinda hoping they'll be here. I didn't bring the Thompson, though. Got myself a crossbow. I didn't really wanna risk the only SMG we have. Oh, oh, that's a scientist, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, that's a scientist. They did not loot this area then? Yeah, they didn't loot the whole melee base. Yeah, there's one more right over there. Yeah, my teammate got the Tommy instead. Well, this, this, this scientist was just glitching all around, man. That's kind of funny. Wait, my teammate found something. Hold on, let me kill this boy. Oh, he ran away. Wait, there's a loot pot. Wait, what? Somebody died. Alright, well, somebody died there. Got myself a bed. Wait, what? Oh my god, he got... He actually got some stuff, man. Look at that. Full... Full outfit. Lovely. That's huge. Oh, another... What? Bro, they had a SAR? Oh my god. <laughs> Yo, these guys... They died and they didn't loot... Oh, there's another one. Oh my god, there's no way. What? Bro, this is the easiest method to get weapons. There's no way, man. We got SAR Thompsons. That's incredible, man. I think they died and they... The people that killed them just didn't loot. Imagine they died to scientists. That would be insane. Any scientists are unlooted. Some more ammo, gears. We should probably go depot. So our current plan after this is we're gonna go to outposts. And after that, we'll probably just start hitting up some, some areas such as the tunnels and the oil rig. We want to do both of those. But this gun over here, <laughs> we got it for nothing. It's insane, man. That's why you should always go... Try to counter. Alright, so we're back in base, depoting everything, and we're gonna go for another run. We actually need to make more storage. We got a spear gun too, somehow. Yeah, this crate is full, dude. So I'll probably just make some more crate zone. Alright, so we organized base a little bit, made it a bit better. Also upgraded the base to full stone. Now we're going to go for another roam. Try to get some more PvP, perhaps. Trying to find some more people to kill, get ourselves the easy loot the easy way. If not, we'll just go on our way to Outpost, probably. Buy some stuff from there. Oh, he killed someone. There's a dude there. Oh, I didn't even see him, man. Oh, he's geared. Oh, he actually has quite a ton of stuff, man. Gun, another SAR. Huge. Lovely. Oh, we're getting shot at. There's somebody else. I'll just keep going to Outpost. I have no idea where he is, though. And there's a live base very close. Maybe there, so let's just get out of here. Before they boat, or they may be even a bigger group. Alright, so I made it to Outpost, recycling everything that we got from that dude that we killed. Alright, so we're going down for a tunnel run. We already got a satchel from this, so we're getting some good loot. Hopefully we don't die. Hopefully there's not gonna be anyone that is gonna destroy us. But all three of us are here, all with guns. Alright, let's keep going down. After this, we'll definitely run back straight to base. He killed one. There's one there. Hit him. He's dead. Hold on. Let's bandage up a little bit because we're low. 
This one's dead. Well, nothing good from him, though. Yo, my inventory is actually full, man. Probably should have depoted from that before we actually got here. We did loot train yard a little bit. Hopefully, my teammates do have uh, more space, man. Oh, never mind. There's more on the other side. There's some over there. Hit him. He's down. I think they're all cleared, this area. It's probably gonna be more by by this corner, though. Yeah. Hit him. Catch all. He's down. And shot at, bro. Melee crate. Some scraps, some pipes. Cargo points, eh? Another fuse. Yeah, that one is dead as well. Some more scraps. Spring. Yeah, I'm literally full of loot right now. We could use some of the bandages, bandages perhaps. I wonder if my teammates got anything good from this. There's some junk in there. We could take those shells just in case we'll need. Bro, I have two stars on me. If we do manage to make it back to base though, this would have been one of the best loot runs in my 70 hours. Even though I didn't kill anyone, but made it to outpost, made loot to train yard, and now we're doing tunnels. So that's pretty good loot, man. Yeah, I'm pretty sure after this, we're gonna try to get to a train and just go straight to base. Because next to our base, there's a train entrance or whatever it is. So we could actually try to just make it to there and then run for like two minutes and we'll arrive. Oh yeah, we're almost out. Yeah, it's so close to our base, man. Look at that. There's somebody... What? There's somebody chopping down trees right here. Yeah, he's dead. Oh, that's an easy farm for us. Poor dude. Yeah, a lot of uh, a lot of wood. Bro, I didn't take anything. I took an axe. It doesn't matter though. <laughs> I mean, it's all going to the same base. That was actually a really good loot run, man. We're gonna put all of the nodes that we just got from that dude we killed. Let's put all of this junk that we got as well in here. Three full inventories. I wonder what my teammates got. We got a red key card. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we got that from Outpost, actually. That's why we went there in the first place. So we're probably gonna use it somewhere. Either oil rig. But I'm really happy with it, man. Look at this. Look at this tool cover we got. We've been on the server for around, like, two and a half hours to three hours. And we're getting some good loot, man. All right, so we've been working on base a little bit. Nothing too special, just making it... For a second floor, the only way to go up is with a furnace. It's actually quite, quite interesting. And we'll probably work on this floor for a little bit. And then we'll go do oil rig run. Something like that very soon. But yeah, back there is the clan base. I don't think they're online though. So that's good. Yeah, this is gonna be our entrance. We're gonna go in also with a furnace. It's gonna be very, very interesting. So if we just pick it up, people cannot actually go up. It's kind of kinda cool. Yeah, we got ourselves a garage door too. Let's put ourselves the code. Oh, that's not even the code. Oops. Alright, so I'm gonna farm wood because we're starting to run out. This is for a base, obviously. But I'm starting to like how it is, man. Since I only have such a small amount of hours, I do think that this is gonna be my first genuinely good wipe. Because the other two, I really didn't do anything that crazy. Even though in the previous one where I was solo, I did manage to get C4 from a Chinook crate. Uh, that, was, that was quite nice. And this is actually the first time I'm playing on a populated survey. If you guys want to see more videos like this, just let me know. I am having a much better time. We did join a few days after wipe though, so the majority of people actually already have large bases and that kind of stuff. So maybe next time we'll join on wipe day or a day after wipe. What we're going to do now is we're going to actually roam around, try to find ourselves perhaps some raids. We are trying to find a boat as well so that we can go do oil rig very, very, very soon. So that's our next objective, finding a boat, going doing oil rig. Hopefully getting some good loot from the crate and then we'll just hopefully not die on our way back. That, that's really it. We just found this base. Uh, it's actually made, that part is made out of wood, so we can eco raid that. Other than that, the base does look quite large, so we do get made more raiding gear than we can just come back later on. It's getting dark. We still have no luck with finding a boat, so that's not really that good, but uh, we could just try to farm some scrap and then buy a boat at Fishing Village or something like that. I think that's what we're gonna be doing. If we don't find anything, it's incredible. We've walked so much and no boats, and that's not good, man. Alright, so we did buy actually a boat. We had to go to Lighthouse, farm scrap, took us a while, but it doesn't matter now. We're gonna do a duo oil rig run. I just hope we get ourselves some good loot. I did actually get loot from Lighthouse. That was gonna be my first time doing oil rig, so I'm just praying that I do not die. And if you guys see me doing any mistakes throughout this video, just, just let me know, okay? I really appreciate it, because that's the only way to learn. But I do think I'm starting to get the hang out of it. Obviously, then I just need to start getting better PvP. Let's just hope that I get myself some good loot. If we get raiding gear from this run, I'm gonna be very happy, man. I'm gonna be so happy, you have no idea. Alright, so we're on. Scientists all around, he's down. 
I hope we get good stuff from it. I hear so many stabs, bro. Okay, right up there. Hit him. Hit him again. Alright, he's down. I kind of screwed up on food, to be honest. I did not bring any food. One more there. He's down. Anything good? Oh. Yeah, my teammates looting them so quick, bro. I just want to see what they had. Let's rig these barrels, even though. Who cares? But it's these little stuff, then you can get some good stuff, bro. Like scrap. Yeah, I'm pretty sure the crate is at the top, right? Yeah, another scientist is dead. One more up there. There we go, down. Let just do it. Oh, yeah, some... Damn, they actually have a lot of loot. I thought they only had two items spare. Apparently not. One more down. Wait, I gotta meta, bro. I don't wanna risk it too much and then just die. I'm still getting shot at. Another one down. And the majority of them are dying. Pretty sure there's only a few left. There's a melee crate here. Attack trash. Another one. Our melee crate here. Some pipes. Some more junk. More random junk. Yeah, a lot of scraps. Some fuse. Yeah, there's so many dead scientists here. One more there. Hit him. Down. Another one. Dead. Alright, let's go. Huge. Let's check out what this dude had. A syringe. I'll take that. This dude had some more ammo. Lovely. Alright, so now we just gotta start hacking that thing, right? It's gonna take a while, man. I'm pretty sure it takes like 15 minutes. Rifle body and scrap. Or elite crate. Oh, I'll take those. Yeah, let's start begin hacking this thing. Now I'm pretty sure that the big boys are gonna come, yeah? Oh yeah, there. Right up there, bro. Let me try to get ourselves a, a better angle. Yeah, he's up there. Headshot. Headshot again. Hit him. Headshot. Hit him. Bro, I hit him like 10 times. Nah, that's crazy. Oh, I think they're dead, actually. Now, let's check out what loot they had. They should have some good loot, right? Oh, okay. Yeah, more ammo. Syringes. Syringes are nice, honestly. I don't think we've even researched that yet. Yeah, it could have been... Could have been worse loot. Some more ammo as well. Alright, so we're just gonna wait for hacking. Make sure people don't try to counter us. But so now, it's very quiet. I'm pretty sure they'll try to show up the last second, man. Right, this thing is about to, to get ready. Oh, I closed the door. Yep, it's done, and... Uh, Alright, well, Thompson. I, I locked my teammate outside. That's not really that good, honestly. Just kinda hoping for more. We got a scope, though, that's nice. Another Thompson, some explosives, face mask. Alright, so now we just, we're just gonna go back to base, then. We've got full inventory, pretty good loot. Pretty sure my teammate got better loot, though. Since he was looting most of the, uh, the scientists. There's a live base there, I hit him. Yeah, he ran inside. Yeah, we found a live base, man. There's another dude out there. I don't want to lose this loot, man. That would be that would be terrible. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we have made it back with insane loot, bro. Those explosives are actually huge. We can just research them right now. But I'm really happy with the loot we got, man. Alright, so actually another airdrop is landing right here. And it's very dark. We can barely see anything. So there's probably going to be people with like double barrels or something. So that could actually be dangerous. Alright, so we're back in base from that drop. Pretty good loot. My teammate got all of it. We got it back. Huge. Alright, so we actually returned to this eco base that we found. We're gonna try to eco raid with spears. Uh, we farmed a lot of wood. Uh, we're gonna be spending here quite a while. I'm just trying to hopefully break it quickly enough, man. Maybe there's gonna be some good loot in there. That would be actually hilarious if there is. Should break any time. Yep. Broke. Yeah, we kind of need a ladder. I just realized that I'm gonna pr probably could just boost him up. You could check what's in there. Thing is, I would kind of want to see what's in there, but it's fine. Why oh, he's dropping me a little charcoal? I'm kind of picking up the spears and some ore. There's a lot of charcoal, actually. Damn, bro, I have so much spears. I need to get rid of them. I mean, it's free loot. Yeah, he's dropping a lot of ore. Damn, look at that. It's crazy. I don't think that. I think the other part of the base is sealed. We had some HQM, so. Charcoal. I think we gotta get raiding gear to go through. A lot of stone, man. That's nice. We actually do need that for our base. Alright, so we're just probably gonna farm some raiding gear and then we'll we'll come back. We'll finish off this raid. Alright, so... A bit of an update. Basically, we have been farming for quite a while. My teammate actually got an AK. We got one AK. And we're gonna go and do that raid. We got some satchels. I think it's gonna be enough to finish this raid. 
Let's just really hope so, man. That's all I want. My first Rust base raid. Alright, we're back. Got leather. Alright, so there's just a few doors, I guess. These crates are pretty sure empty. Yep, they're empty. Got some explo ammo. If we break the TC, we could just literally yoink everything, man. That's one thing that I really like about Rust. We could just come up here, pick up their furnaces. <laughs> it's such, such a cool thing to do, man. You could pick up crates, everything. Bro, what? Oh my god, I fell. Bro, there's no way that just happened, man. I fell through, no. Oh my god, I'm gonna... Bro, that's too far. I'm not walking that. There's no way I'm gonna walk that, bro. Alright, so my teammates bagged me in. I had to wait five minutes to actually TP back. I really am regretting that I fell. Let's really we're in there. They continued to raid, though. And this is the loot that they... Go that's actually really good. Yeah, they kept the loot in there. They wanted to... S they wanted me to see what they got from the raid. That's actually really good. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, let's just take our stuff back. That sulfur is crazy. There's a lot of sulfur, dude. All right, well, our first base raid, good raid, wasn't here. I I died. I fell, so I died. So, um, really upset about it, but that's okay. There's nothing we can do. All right, so we're just gonna go back to base then. And probably just roam around for a little bit. It was a good day, though. We started off in one day, literally, with absolutely nothing. And we got so much stuff. This was all in one day, man, on vanilla. Alright, so after that, we actually did head off the server. It was a pretty good progression for a single day. We sealed off the base, made it a little bit bigger, did some honeycomb, and headed off. I hope that you guys enjoyed it, though. If you guys want more, let me know in the comment section below. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!